Selling access to a community using Surecart is extremely easy. I'm going to walk you through the basic steps and we're just going to jump right in. So step one is in Surecart, you need to have a product. So create a product. Here's mine as an example. It's the community membership. I added an image, I added some price points here. All of that is very easy to do. And if you're interested in learning more about the basics of Surecart setup, which we won't dive into in this video, I have an entire course on it that I'll link to you in the description. With our product made, that's the easy part. Step two is going to be creating a form. Making a checkout form in Surecart is also equally as easy. You simply create a new form and select some basic information. So what I've done is I've created a form that has two membership tiers. When I sell access to my community on the front end, I like to offer the monthly membership and then an annual membership with a 33% discount to encourage people to sign up for a longer membership term. And then I ask for some simple information like their name and their email, which are required. We need both of those things for our circle community. And then I allow them to create a password for their account on my website. And this goes really well with that tutorial I recently released showing how you can use single sign-on between circle and your website. So this is that basically that exact login that they will use to access the community. And the rest is pretty straightforward, the payment information, etc. Step three is to create a page on your website. I created mine using Thrive Architect, which is super easy. You can see this looks really nice. It's very straightforward. I have some testimonials and there is that form where the user can swap between the different membership tiers and then it gets reflected down below in this payment information. Really, really nice embedded right on my site. And that's just built using the simplicity of Thrive Architect. I dropped two columns in, added some testimonials, and then I just dropped my Surecart form code, that short code that you get when you create a form in Surecart. I have created several templates that are available that you can pick up. I'll also include a link to that in the description as well if you're interested. The next step is for us to come into Sure Triggers, which comes with Surecart. I recommend the Surecart business plan because you get, I believe it's at the current time of recording, 5,000 actions per month inside of Sure Triggers. It's basically like Zapier, but it's right within your site. It's headless, which means you could also see this exact same thing if you went to app.suretriggers.com. But if you're familiar with something like Zapier or any of those other types of tools, they all function generally the same. We start with a trigger. So we have our product created. It's on a checkout page via a form. And now we need to say what happens when that product is purchased. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. And we get to choose from our different apps here. Our trigger will be a Surecart trigger. And our Surecart trigger will be that a purchase is created. And we'll choose our connection, which is our Surecart setup on our website. You can click on yours. Next, we're going to choose the product that applies to this checkout. For us, that's our community membership. And then you can click on fetch data so that you have some data to work with. And at this time, if you don't have any actual purchases, you can just run a test purchase. There's a fantastic test mode in Surecart to get some of that data. So we'll go ahead and click fetch. That way we can continue and utilize this moving forward. Then we just click save. Next step is to click this plus symbol here to get another action. And that action is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be circle, which is our community platform. Now I do want to emphasize here that using sure triggers with circle requires you to be on the circle plan that provides API access at the time of recording. That's the business plan. Now, don't worry if you're on one of Circle's lower plans. I'm going to show you an alternative. So keep watching and we'll go over that next. But I think you're going to really like this method because of just how simple it is to do here inside of Sure Triggers. So we're going to, from here, we're going to drop down and we're going to invite member to the community. We're going to select our connection. And if you haven't made that connection yet, just click create new connection. It's very easy to go into Circle and get your API key. You'll just drop it in there and you'll be right where I'm at. So we'll click circle, which is, I think what I called mine. And now we need the customer's email address. So this is dynamic, right? It's not just for one customer. It's going to be every customer. So we're going to click this three stacked circles thing here. This is our dynamic data that we're going to drop in and we're going to select the email. You can also just type this in. It's that left squiggly bracket customer dot email, and then the right squiggly bracket. You do also need to add the customer's name. I know it doesn't have a required symbol, but every time I've tried this, it's been required. So we're just going to go ahead and click on our dynamic data and we're going to add in the customer's name. I like to just do the first name. 
Again, you can either do what I just did by clicking on this three stacked circles and then finding the data, or you can just do left curly brace or squiggly bracket, whatever you want to call it, uh, and then customer.first underscore name, and then close it. For password, we're leaving that blank because we are already using our single sign-on password through our community. We don't need to manually add a profile image or any of this information. The user can fill that out themselves. What we care about next is this skip invitation email option. We'll click on that and we'll click yes. We don't want to email the customer because we're doing all of this automatically for them because it works so well in our setup. Next, we just need to select the community. And for me on, on my circle account, I just have the one. So we'll select Combology. And then for space groups, you can select all the space groups that apply to this purchase. So if you're like me, I'm just going to choose the community space group. My other one is for pro members only. And I don't need to select spaces because when a user in the space group community is added to that space group, they get access to all spaces inside of it. For tags, I'm going to select the community member because I have differentiation between pro and community. And that's everything else that we need to do there. You are going to need to click test action just to confirm that it works, which you can do. And then you can click save and you'll be good to go. One of the reasons why I love sure triggers, and I think that you'd benefit from getting the circle business plan to have API access, which is technically what this is called here is because we can continue to use sure triggers here to then click this plus button and we can proceed with adding them. I don't know, here's fluent CRM. We can add them to our fluent CRM integration or to our discord server. Or, I mean, look at this long list of integrations. There's fluent support there. There's pretty much anything you would need is all here inside of sure triggers and integrated so well already with your website. The slightly more affordable, well, maybe more than slightly more affordable alternative is Zapier. You are going to need a paid Zapier plan uh, because the webhooks feature that we're going to need to use is a premium. I think they call it a premium app or something like that here in Zapier. So you're going to need at least the starter plan. $19.99 per month, $20 a month. That comes out to be about $240 a year. That, that is a bit cheaper than the circle plan. And I'm going to walk you through how to set this app up. So the first thing you need to do is create a new Zap and choose Webhooks by Zapier. You can see here it is a premium app, so that's why we need that paid plan. So we're going to choose Webhooks by Zapier and we need to catch a hook. So let's click catch a hook and click continue. Click continue again. We don't need a child key. And here you're going to get a Webhook URL. This is what we're going to need to click copy on so that we can send data to this webhook that Zapier will catch for us to use when setting up our integration with Circle. So let's go ahead and click copy on this so that we have it copied. And let's return back to sure triggers. Now inside of sure triggers in this version, we're not going to have API access. We're going to pretend we are on one of the other plans like the pro plan, not the business plan. We'll click delete here. We won't need that. Instead, we'll add another action and we need to select API. API is the action in sure triggers that lets us send a webhook. So our API action is going to be down here. We'll select the method. We'll select post and we're going to post our, we'll do JSON and our endpoint will be that URL that we just copied from Zapier. And we don't need an array for our authentication. We'll click no off. Next, we need to click the add parameters button because we need to send data to this endpoint URL. And the parameter we're going to add is a key and value pair. If you've seen my other videos, we do go over webhooks a lot. The two items we need to send over, so there are going to be two, we'll click add parameter, are the name and the email. So for name, we'll put name and our value here. If you were watching earlier, you could guess it. It's the customer's first name. We'll do that same code there with the curly brace on the left, customer.first underscore name, close it. And then our key here will be email and our value will be the customer's email. We'll just click that button again, search for email and drop it in for us right there. Okay, with all of this selected, let's go ahead and test our action. With our test data received, we can now click continue with the selected record. And our next step will be to select circle. And the process will be very, very similar to what we looked at in the sure triggers setup. Our event will be invite member. And then we'll click continue. Our account will be our same account. And we're going to walk through that same process. We'll be inserting our email and our name and choosing our community. So we'll click into the email field and we will choose our name. We'll click into our name field 
and we'll choose the name that we sent over. For community, we will select our community like we did before. Scrolling down below, our next option is to add to space groups. In this example, I'm just going to add to my community space group. And for tags, I'll do the same process. You can see it's very, very similar to sure triggers. And then for skip email, we will click true. And then we're done. We can click continue, test our zap, save it. And now we've given access to our community. Now, whichever of those two options you chose to go with, whether it be to manage the invite through sure triggers or to manage the invite through Zapier, the payment came through Surecart in our setup here. And let me show you why I really recommend that option. So if we are logged into my site, for example, I have an account section here. And when the customer visits the account section, they can see that they have an existing plan. And that existing plan is the community membership. Selecting the community membership now, here's what's so cool about Surecart. Remember when we created our product, we created multiple different plans. This current user is on the quarterly plan, which actually, if you remember, was not available on the front end sales order form. There were only monthly and annual plans that I made available. Well, what you're looking at here is an upgrade group. This allows the customers to come in and manage their own plans. So yes, technically they can cancel their plan if I give them the option to, but they can also upgrade or downgrade their membership. Let's say that this customer wanted to go from my quarterly plan to my annual plan. They simply select annual, click next, and you'll see that Surecart has created a platform here where the user can upgrade immediately and only pay the prorated price. So in this case, they have a proration credit of $86.01 based on time that they've had the active subscription for. There's a payment method on file because this is a subscription. And so for my $392 per year membership, they only owe $305.99, which they'll pay immediately. And their new renewal date will be one year from today. Alternatively, I can go back to the plan section and let's say I didn't want to be on the quarterly membership anymore. I wanted to downgrade to monthly. I could click that, click next. And now you'll see that by switching, this plan will end at the end of my current billing cycle. So on the quarterly membership, I have already paid up through September 24th, 2023 in this example. And as soon as I hit that billing date, then I will be on $49 per month on that plan. Super, super useful for managing your customers or letting your customers manage themselves and move between the different plans on your website. This is so great for increasing your customer lifetime value when they can move up in a pricing tier or keeping them happy and allowing them to manage their own payment plans and move themselves down a tier if they don't want to be on a higher tier. In Surecart, you have total control over what you let your customers do. Now you might be asking, wait, why would I process payments through Surecart and not through Circle, like Circle has a paywall feature. Well, here's why. This is just Circle's knowledge base. Circle charges transaction fees on top of the transaction fees that you pay to Stripe. Stripe charges 2.9% and then 30 cents per transaction. If you're on the basic, heck, if you're on any of their plans, you're giving a percentage of your sale over to Circle every time somebody joins. Putting this into perspective, 4% on a paywall to give access to your community on a $50 per month membership is $2. Let's say you had 200 people join your membership this year. You'd end up spending $400 in order to charge or transact through Circle. That $400 could have gone towards your entire Surecart, more than your entire Surecart's annual payment. And that could be used for all sorts of things instead of just for processing payments. You're basically throwing money away if you use this. Now, I don't want to sound totally negative. The simplicity of using Circle's paywalls is that you push a button, you push a button, and there's a form right there that customers can pay to get access. It doesn't get easier than paywalls in Circle to give access to your Circle community for a fee, but you're certainly going to pay for it and at the basic plan, even the professional plan, I think that's really expensive. It's, it's almost, and the professional plan, almost double the cost of processing fees.
I hope that was helpful teaching you how to successfully implement a payment method for giving access to your community and why I highly recommend Surecart to be the tool that you use because of that fantastic subscription management and why I recommend SureTriggers along with it because of the simplicity of the integration. I mean, you're all in one place. As you can see here on the left-hand side is my WordPress site. I'm all there inside my site, but I hope you also recognize that Zapier is an effective alternative if the business plan for Circle is not inside of your budget. If you're interested in picking up Surecart or Circle, I do have bonuses available if you pick those up through my affiliate link as a way to thank you for supporting me and the business and the channel. You can find those links down below to see some of the bonuses that I offer, which are extraordinarily helpful in getting your tech stack all set up.